hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button in today's video i'm doing a breast cancer awareness nail set so i'm going to start by pushing back the cuticles then i'm just going around the cuticle area with my cuticle bit just to lift up any of the dead skin that might still be on the nail plate and then i cut my nails so i am doing this nail design on short nails not medium length but short nails i did purchase some short nail tips on amazon so these are the short nail tips right here and they are full covered short nail tips so i'm just going to be showing you guys the length of the nails and it is really short and it is pre-etched so i don't have to do anything like that although i wouldn't think about doing it but it's good to know that it is pre-etched so i'm just finding my sizes and do you guys see how short that nail is oh my goodness so anyway i am going ahead and apply some sunscreen to my hand because my hand is going to be in the lamp often i need to protect my skin then i'm going to apply my gel base coat to all of the nails and then I cure for 30 seconds. I'm using rubbing alcohol as my sip solution and I am going to be applying the nail tips with clear poly gel so I'm using my model ones clear poly gel and if you're interested in purchasing anything from the model ones website you can use my code it will be listed in the description below and on the screen so I'm just going to be placing some of the clear poly gel inside of the nail tip and then I place the nail tip on my pinky nail apply some pressure and then I clean the excess poly gel from around the cuticle area and I did not cure the nail right after because these nails are short they are manageable so I'm going to be applying all of the nails first well most of the nails I will apply the pinky nail ring nail middle nail and index nail and then I would cure for 30 seconds so it is really easy to apply these nail tips so that's why I would prefer to apply all of them first and then cure so I was just showing you guys this is a new poly gel brush and it kept shedding I ended up having to throw away this poly gel brush I don't know what happened this was my first time using this poly gel brush so unfortunate but anyway I am just going to be applying all of the nail tips well four of the nail tips and then I would cure the nails for 30 seconds So the nails are still uncured right here so I just thought I would show you guys I did the two other nails off camera and they are still uncured so I'm just making sure that they are straight and stuff like that and then I would cure for 30 seconds and I did the thumbnail off camera. Now I am using rubbing alcohol to remove the tackiness from the nails and then I filed the nails so I am just going over the critical area making sure that the nail tip is flush with my nail so it looks natural. Next I buffed the surface of the nails to remove the shine. Then I filed the free edge and the sides of the nails just to get that crisp shape. So 
so this is how it looks when all of the nails are buffed and shaped now I'm going to be using this nude poly gel from model ones so I'm just going to be doing a basic poly gel application on short nails this was my first time doing poly gel on short nails I've never done it on short nails like this the longest I have gone is medium length and this is shorter than medium length so yes I did change my poly gel brush so now I'm just going to be starting my poly gel application and y'all need to let me know if my poly gel application was good or not was it too thick or was it just right because I'm not too sure as I said before this was my first time doing a poly gel application on nails this short and I think the last time I did short nails, well poly gel nails was medium length poly gel nails and I think I did the lazy girl method that time so it's not the same. So yes this is my first time doing short poly gel application and I think it turned out good. I see some things that I could improve on but in general I think it turned out really good. Let me know if it is too thick or if it is just right because I'm not too sure about the thickness of short nails if it needs to be thinner than what I did so yeah let me know about that but other than that I really liked how these poly gel nails looked in the end and as I said before I am doing breast cancer awareness nails so the month of October is breast cancer awareness and we all need to be aware of this because it can happen to any one of us male or female so always do your self checks and also make sure you visit your doctors regularly and make sure you eat right because it has been known that eating inflammatory foods can create inflammation in your body and cancer is a form of inflammation so always make sure you are eating right stay away from processed foods stay away from seed oils like vegetable oils and all these things make sure and use avocado oils olive oils coconut oils those oils are really good extra virgin olive oil by the way so yes those oils are very good and they are not inflammatory oils as opposed to the soybean oils and stuff like that and inflammatory oils are in everything so you have to kind of like make your own stuff which is very time consuming so you know certain things you can research about and see where you can limit the amount of inflammatory foods you consume so that you could live healthy and also exercise and stuff like that so we need to be aware of these things we need to spread awareness of breast cancer and ways that we can limit the chances of ourselves and our family members getting it and i know it's really hard and i just want to pray for everyone that is going through cancer i hope you'll make it through this i pray to god you'll make it through this in jesus name amen and i hope i didn't say anything wrong when i was talking about the inflammatory foods and how it is connected to cancer i hope i didn't offend anyone but you know i listen to dr berg and he speaks a lot about keto intermittent fasting and ways to eliminate diseases so i know a lot and i try to practice all these things try my best it is very time consuming and stressful but i try to practice all of these things as well so yeah i just thought i would talk about it because this is a really touchy subject but you really need to spread light on this subject of breast cancer and any cancer that can occur so that people know and just be aware of it and look for the signs so make sure self checks and stuff like that so yeah i don't think i have much more to say about it and make sure and do your research so that you are aware of all the different cancers especially breast cancer for the month of october and for every month it's not just for october so yeah let's get back to the video so i'm just speeding through the poly gel application right here i'm doing all of the nails with the nude poly gel so i'm just doing a basic poly gel application and this took me about 30 minutes if so much so i really like short nails just for that it was so short and filing and all was really short so i liked that 
so yes i had no problem with the application i just don't know if the application is too thick or if it is just right because i'm not that first with short nails so yeah i'm just going through all of the nails and i really like using model one's poly gels they are one of my favorite poly gel brands i have no problem with them so yeah if you all are interested as i said before there will be a link in the description below so that you all can purchase anything from their website at a percentage off so i am just going to let this part play out and i'll be back when i have something important to see So after curing all of the nails, this is how it looks. Now I'm just going to be using some rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer and then I began filing the nails. I think I did show myself filing one of the nails so that you all can see how I was filing. It is the basic filing I think, nothing to it. The same way I would file long nails, I filed the short nails but I just thought I would still show you guys so that you all can see exactly what I was doing. Well, I guess I showed you guys me filing a couple of my nails. <laughs> So I'm also going to be using some gel polishes from Model Ones. I did a review of these gel polishes a few months ago. They are all different shades of pink. So I'm going to be using this gel polish right here. I don't remember the number that was assigned to it, but I'm sure you guys saw it. So I'm just going to be placing some on my nail palette and I'm going to be applying gel top coat to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds the reason i am applying the gel top coat is because i'm going to be doing some nail art on these nails it is easier to apply gel polish over gel top coat and anytime you make a mistake it is easier to remove gel polish when it is over gel top coat if you don't apply gel top coat and you make a mistake the color seeps into the holes and crevices of the nail which makes stains and it ruins the design low key so it's always best to apply gel top coat before nail art so it's easier to remove and i hope i explained that correctly and y'all understand So I cured those nails and now I am applying the gel top coat to the thumbnail and then I cured 
for 30 seconds. So I'm going to be using this nail art brush and I'm starting on the index nail. So I start at the side where I want my French nails to be but I was kind of practicing here because my French nails ended up being a bit lower on the nail but the same principle applies. So you start at the side and then you bring the gel polish up the nail like I'm doing here but Keep in mind I am practicing what I'm doing right here so this nail was a trial nail and I'm just doing the French smile line and it ended up being a bit deeper the smile line being deeper than it is right now because I felt like it needed to be a bit deeper it was too shallow for this nail and it looked way better in my opinion when I was finished with the nails right here it doesn't look that good. So I'm just going ahead and just play with the smile line just to see how I would like it and I think this nail set turned out really good. I loved all of the gel polishes that I got from Mother Ones. I got these gel polishes I think in July and I really love them and they are perfect for the breast cancer awareness nail design because for breast cancer awareness we wear pink. So this was really fitting I think. And I think this nail set turned out really good. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any tips or tricks for me. And I had to do two layers of this pink gel polish to reach full opacity. But I did not show myself doing the two layers. I only showed myself doing one layer. So as you can see the smile line got a bit deeper on this nail. And I think it looked way better like that. So I am going to be keeping this smile line and I think my gel polish application is getting a lot better. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Wow. <laughs> So after looking at the nail from all angles, I would cure that for 30 seconds in my 48 watt nail lamp and this is how it looks. Now I am going on to the middle nail and as you can see I started a bit lower on the nail so I make a line where I want the smile line to be and then I make another line at the tip area and then I just connect them and then make the smile line. It's so easy to do and it makes doing French nails a lot easier in my opinion. Let me know if you all try this and if it's easy for you all as well. So it just makes connecting the smile line and the nail look a lot better and I think I did such a good job so let me know what you guys think about it. So I'm just going to be showing you guys me applying the gel polish to all of the nails and I would speed through this section a lot. So I will be back shortly. Let me know what you guys think about this nail set and if you've reached this far in the video don't forget to hit the like button below comment your thoughts on the design and don't forget to subscribe this really helps the channel when you do all of these things and don't forget to watch the video all the way through this shows youtube that you like my content and you are interested and it pushes the video out to a larger audience so yeah thanks to everyone who like comment and subscribe and watch the videos so i'll be back shortly
so i did the thumbnail off camera and this is one layer of the pink gel polish on my nails right here and this is two layers of the pink gel polish on my nails so i left the ring nail out because i'm going to be doing the breast cancer awareness logo on the ring nail so i am going to be using another shade of pink from the model ones gel polishes as well but we are going to be starting with the one that i use on the tips of the rest of the nails so i'm just going to be drawing the symbol right here and i did most of it off camera because i had to get it a bit thicker so i did that part off camera and i had to do two layers of that to reach full opacity but i only showed myself doing one layer Now I'm going to be using this other pink gel polish from the Model Ones gel polish kit. So I just placed some on my nail palette. And also from another Model Ones gel polish kit, I'm going to be using the white and the black gel polish. So I just placed some of the black gel polish on the nail palette as well. And I'm going to be doing the breast cancer symbol like a cartoon look. Do you guys remember the cartoon nails that used to be really popular sometime this year or last year? I'm not sure when that was but I am going to be doing a cartoon like symbol. So I just outlined the logo like I'm doing right here with the black gel polish. And it's so nerve wracking to outline anything with black gel polish my hands were shaking when doing this i'm really not good with doing this part of the nail art it's so nerve-wracking So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how it looks. And I'm using some of the pink gel polish just to clean up any of the areas that might have gotten some black gel polish that shouldn't have gotten black gel polish. And I also just applied a little more just to make the pink area a little more opaque. And I cured that for 30 seconds. then i'm using the other shade of pink gel polish just to create that shadow ish effect i don't know what it's called but when i did my cartoon nails i did this exact thing so i thought i would do the same thing for the logo
and I cured for 30 seconds. Next, I am just going to be placing some black lines in the logo as well and curing that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be using the white gel polish so I place some on my nail palette. Then I'm just going to be drawing a line inside of the logo as well. And then I placed a dot with my dotting tool and cured for 30 seconds. So this is how it's looking and I think it looks so good. It's really simple but something about it is just amazing. So I am going to be applying matte top coat to the ring nail and curing that for 30 seconds. And do you guys think it looks cartoon like? I think it does. Let me know in the comments below. So on the rest of the nails, I'm going to be using glossy top coat. So I placed the top coat on the rest of the nails and cure for 30 seconds. And this is how the nails are looking. Now I'm going to be applying my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. And guys this is the finished look this is my breast cancer awareness nail set and i think it turned out really good so let me know what you guys think i think it is simple but so effective and i really love this short nail design i think i really like applying poly gels to short nails so let me know what you guys think and let me know if you're interested in seeing me do more short poly gel overlays i would definitely do them again so yeah let me know what you guys think and also don't forget guys make sure and make your health a priority and do your self checks and do everything you need to do to prevent any one of your family members or yourself from getting this disease so yeah let me know what you guys think about this nail set thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys